You're playing the wrong message. Hello, ladies and gentle dudes. Welcome to Southern Creator Channel. My name is Alan, and I can safely say I think I'm about 75% done with this project. Uh, at this stage, I'm going to start picking sections of the build to really refine, polish, and get fully complete. Let me show you what I mean. As we open up, before I get to the main topic at hand, uh, you will notice that I finally, finally buckled down and got these roofs done. Uh, also with the apartment building over here that is completed. It is not quite as elegant as I would have initially planned for, but as I've mentioned, I am really running low on parts. So I think that this is fine the way it is. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't going to be winning any contests, but uh, you'll also notice I, I am so low on certain parts that I am out of proper colors. I need to order some of these um, black cylinders to finish up some of these properly. I got around it on this one by having a nice uh, decorative design that matches with the rest of the white in the building. So I think that's fine the way that is. Now, moving on out. Let's have a bird's eye view. Like I said, I think we're about 75% done with this. Maybe 70%, something like that. Uh, you'll see I've been trying to experiment around with some designs to uh, get this monastery done. I'm going to hit the pause button on the monastery. So to my initial opening statement, what I'm going to be doing now is starting to take these, this build in big chunks. Everything up to the monastery wall, so roughly the forward two-thirds of this, is going to be my main focus for the next couple of weeks. Really, really finish it up. As an example of my dedication to this, I have been getting out my little town and city buckets to build more buckets for the market area out here and, you know, have random trash and whatnot around the roads and streets to make it really look like a lived-in town. And uh, I want to finish up maybe having a little wall right here. I need to pave all of this with this same pattern here. Get all that done. Get the little the walkways done. That needs to be completed. This building needs an overhaul. I've been looting it for parts as I go along. It's a very bad habit of mine, but I need to probably not only update the roof, I really think I need to go back and update the detailing on this. I like so much else I've had to update. Uh, I don't feel like this building is holding up very well against the other four here. Uh, the overall shape will stay the same. I like the shape that I like it over the river. I need to overhaul this building though. Um, so that's, that's coming. So paving tiles, this building overhaul, finish the marketplace. Yeah, we've got some work to do down here. And once I am done with all of that, then we need to bring our final focus on the monastery that is now the the least complete portion of this build. And I will confess, I don't actually know how to do the monastery. Um, I have been fiddling with this for days, trying to figure out a good design for these forward walls here. And then for the roof, I don't have any idea how I'm going to do the roof on this um, because we need to imply that this building is large back here uh, without actually building all of it. So I need to make it look like it's the front of a very large uh, building institution. So that's where we're at right now. I'm going to go ahead and start focusing on some things down here and let's see what we get done. I have completed the small wall here. I tried several different designs, all much larger than this. I decided to go on a, with a thin one. Uh, I think it looks decent enough for what I need, but the, the thick ones was just taking up too much room in here in the marketplace. So there it is. I also did some editing. I removed a lot of these rocks right here and extended the stair to where it is at a corner so that people can approach into the marketplace this way here without having to go 
all the way up around there. It was just looking a little bit convoluted. So that's much more open space now. Uh, now for the tedious part, I don't know what to do first. I guess set up a few booths to sell food or whatever, and then we can start tiling this stuff off. So I guess we'll go ahead and tackle that. So I've been very busy for the last couple of hours. I've started uh, putting tile on the paths that go up these stairs here. I have started on tiling the marketplace area as well. You'll notice that there is a heavy bit of dark tan in there. And the, the reason for that is twofold. One, I wanted to be able to see a distinct line between this this rock face and the wall here and the marketplace so, you, so your eyes can see it clearly. Secondly, I wanted to denote that this is a very well-traveled, dirty area, lots of foot traffic, lots of people spilling things, dirt, dust, um, food. So I wanted to have a bit of a distinction of a very well-traveled, well-used area. And then we'll use this same color combo here up these paths. I haven't decided on the middle one yet up the main stair if I want it to be light bluish gray or dark bluish gray as its main tone. Uh, I don't know yet. I haven't decided. We shall see. But uh, this is about two hours of work right here. It takes a while to, to make a random pattern come to life. So let me know what you think about that. Um, I'll probably continue going up these two paths here. That one's going to be tough to get in there. Might have to pull some of this out to, to get it done. But uh, we're making good progress on this. Um, I think, uh, as we've said before, tiling really, really is kind of the, the some of the finishing touches of a big project. So the more tile we get in here, I think the more real this build is going to become. So we'll keep pressing on with that. I have used tile in many, many of my mocks before, and I will say, though, I have never had tiling work so thoroughly transform a build the way I have with this one. Uh, I'm about to show you basically two days worth of work here on tiling out all the little roads and streets and the marketplace here, and it, um, it it's pretty impressive, if I do say so myself, what it has done to um, really put some polish on this build. Let's take a look at it now. Like I was saying, this has really, really transformed this build. Now that we got those undercolors out of the way, you can see the marketplace. And then I took this pattern, like I said I would, and duplicated it up here. Let's have a look inside here. Yes, that was very tedious, getting my large arms in there to get that taken care of. Knocked a lot of stuff down repeatedly. Over here at the entranceway, it is almost all complete. The notable exception of this little area here, which we're going to be redoing for some stairs when I redo this building, bring it up to par. And then here's over in front of the apartment complex, leading up to one of the side entrances, the Fortress Monastery. Let's come over this way, look at it from the side. Yes, sir. All right. So now the next decision I need to make is what color theme motif I want to use for the main stairs to the monastery. I am slightly leaning towards the dark bluish gray motif just to continue with it up the as I took it right here to the right here I think that's the way I need to go with this I also have a little bit more of the dark bluish gray pieces I have far less of the light bluish gray so I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do with that and there we go that is done I approve of how it turned out. I think this was the right choice with the dark bluish gray. However, there is one major edit. This took me most of the night to resolve. 
I had to completely redo the structure of the stair uh, with dark bluish gray because if you take, let's put a couple of these on here so I can show you a problem I was encountering. The light bluish gray comes through. You can see too much of it and it made it look ridiculous. There's these little lines of light bluish gray going up. So I had to tear all that out and use the absolute remainder of my dark bluish gray uh, plates. I have almost none left, but it was just enough. We got it done. So now this looks legit. I'm pleased with how this is turning out. Basically, the last major thing that we need to do for this bottom two-thirds is this building overhaul. Um, and then we will move our attention back up to the top at the monastery. We're getting close to being done with this, ladies and gentlemen. Very close. Bella doesn't care. But she's here for moral support. All right. I think that is where I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I appreciate all of you watching. I hope this is getting good for you as the viewer. Take care. Have a good one.